Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm an event planner at the Orange County Library System. I plan author events and writing workshops and I invited some of my writing friends to provide writing tips for you. This next one is from author and actor Leanna Renee Heber. Hello, my name is Leanna Renee Heber and I am an actress, a playwright, a ghost tour guide, and the author of gothic gas lamp fantasy novels such as the Spectral City series. And I'm here today with a writing tip. With a background in theater, one of my favorite things to do is to really invest in the life of my characters. And I mean all aspects of the life of my characters. As writers, I think sometimes we get a little too stuck in our heads. We're thinking about the character backstory, we're thinking about their emotional life, we're in our heads trying to figure out the whole scope of the plot and all of the things that go into writing a novel. Sometimes we have to think about the physicality too. When you're thinking about your characters, they are unique. They're going to move a certain way, they're going to talk a certain way, and they're going to have a certain tempo. Are they fast or are they slower? Do they move quickly? Do they take their time? These are choices you can make for each character and it will give a physicality to your characters that's rich and unique. One of my favorite things as an actor, I would always try to envision their physicality, try to give them a physical tick that's different than mine. As you can see, one of my physical ticks is talking with my hands. Uh, so I would try to keep my hands very still if I was playing someone very different from me. And I always loved to figure out the center of gravity of my characters. And what I mean by that is, is your character somebody who really is in their head? Are they a cerebral thinker? Do they have a lot of big thoughts and they're lost in them? Then maybe they would sort of lead in their movement with their head. Are they a big open hearted person? Loves everybody? Maybe they're going to lead with their heart. Are they somebody who maybe walks into a room and thinks about it later? Are they gonna go with their gut? Are they gonna lead with instinct viscerally? Then maybe they lead, their center of gravity might be in their gut. Sometimes if you've got a lot of physical energy, maybe that center of gravity is all in the limbs. So there's a lot of fun to be had in thinking about the different ways that the weight of your character leads into a room and interacts with the world around them. It's not just the physicality of your characters, it's how they move in the world that they're in. And each one of those aspects informs the other. So spend some time, don't be foolish, don't be shy, get into your characters, move around the space that you're in as one of your characters, maybe say some lines as some of your characters. So don't be afraid to be an actor when you're figuring out your characters. Have a great day and happy writing. Thank you for watching. To learn more about writing workshops and see more videos, visit ocls.info slash writers corner. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.